Okay. About ready to rock. Gotta, oof, gotta wake up. Gotta wake up. <laughs> These early weekend streams, but hey, let's let's it all happen, which is good. Let's it all happen. It's important. Get a little bit of gaming in on the weekends. Up and at him, huh? Let's get us all uh, situated. Get our chats all linked up and stuff. Live here. We're live here. There we go. Okay. Doing some little tweetification real quick. People know that we're live. Get this going. Thank you, Lance. And what's up? There we go. Yeah, the morning, the morning weekend streams, man. Firing them up. We might we might play some fraud today. Might have to. I was thinking that it looks like Tally's trying to test DPS. So maybe having, I mean, I don't mind testing Prod a little bit, but helping him get through that would be nice. Baby, some sub action too going on. My goodness. My goodness. Thanks, Cray Shark. Good to see you, man. And Big Flex work for that Prime in 34 months. Thank you, man. You've been itching to dive into an ARPG. Okay. Name said Loot and Grinding. Which game out of the big three right now do you think is the best? D4, Last Epoch, or PoE? Um. So, I think Last Epoch is actually my favorite. But PoE is free. I mean, like, do you, do you have them all? And PoE is probably still the most fresh. But I, I like Last Epoch the most. But I think, you know, PoE has probably the most content out of it all. But they all have a little bit different progression styles. You do have them all? You haven't played it yet? Oh, you haven't, so you haven't played, like, Last Epoch at all? 
or Diablo 4 at all. Interesting. Okay, well. If, if you don't really care about, like, sort of playing something that's, like, a little bit more of a current game, I, I would just dive into Last Epoch and get the feel for that first. I like, I like Last Epoch a ton. But I also like D4 a ton. The reason I say Last Epoch right now is because you probably need to get that experience if you haven't had that yet. Because I will be probably playing D4 for the new season, which is like not super far off. PoE's new season just started, but I don't know. I, I still think that Last Epoch's really, really fun. I think Last Epoch is a good like middle ground too, because PoE is... I mean, I don't know how you feel about it, but PoE can be like really, really complicated. Right? So, Last Epoch is really fun and really nice. And I, I think they'll have new content coming out for them soon too. But I don't know if, if it's going to be as soon as D4. But yeah, that that's like my favorite one. But again, I will be playing the new D4 season when that comes out. That'll be fun. Looking forward to it. Should be cool. What's up on YouTube, by the way? I think Arm's feeling the best. <laughs> Shadow, that's just you. And sorry, bro. No, not interested in that. I'm going to turn you down on that one. <laughs> that's just you, dog. <laughs> that's just you wishing. But no, sir. Fortunately for you, ain't no way. That was pretty funny, yeah. Doing the, the Pika... Bellular Asmongold react. Yeah, that was fun. I think I think we're gonna do another Pika react um, to the skill cat video. I like Pika a lot. He's funny and smart. Well, Ari, thanks so much, dude. Big flex for the four months. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, dude. Cool. Let's go play Torchlight too. I was. You know, that's another thing. We we just played Torchlight Infinite. You didn't mention that one, but that's all. That's another really really fun ARPG. We did a sponsored stream with them. Uh, on Friday, and we still have our link. So if you haven't played Torchlight Infinite, that's another one to, to check out. You didn't mention it, but it should be on your list. I don't think Blizzard hates us warriors, bro. I don't think so. But, um... We do need to do a couple things. That reminds me, I, I need to actually, uh... Like, submit some bug reports. For Rage Generation doesn't really feel that bad. But they did, they did nerf our generation and the cost of our skills. And then they also forced us to take a, like, more of, like, a, a bigger Rage Pool talent, too. Which is odd. You can either take that or you can take the extra slam damage, but like... Not gonna use that either, right? Thank you, hey Breed. Big Flex of 33 months, man. Pumping us up, dude. Thank you, man. Yeah, I, I like I like Grim Dawn as well. Yeah, those are all good. I mean, I, I love action RPGs, so... Surprise, surprise. I've enjoyed all of those, but yeah. You should put Torchlight Infinite on your list, too. Torchlight Infinite is like, if you want to play... Uh, RPG that's like kind of the PoE character creation style with like skills and support skills then Torchlight does that well just um, a little bit uh, more streamlined than PoE that's not more I haven't pressed it one time I don't think uh, I, I don't want to <laughs> yeah I don't want to isn't it, isn't it basically just an execute build with the Slayer Hero Tree? Um, are you going to... So you can... You definitely want to build into the execute side of the tree with Slayer. Yeah, I think so. But... I I don't know. You, you, I don't even really feel like I, I get sudden death procs that much more, right? You made a single song uh, of rock music with AI. Nice. Yeah, I... I I watched Quinn's stream. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. You don't know why all your duels in front of Stormin, I lose them all as arms? Yeah, arms... 
I don't think it's like the best dueling spec. You gotta, you don't have like a lot of like uh, reset capability with arms, right? It is pretty wild, yeah. Arena 2v3 without healer mode would be so fun. Healers make this game bad, yeah? <laughs> Maybe. If, if People have talked about that, like a solo shuffle, where you can only play uh, 2v2, no healers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, Fate is one I have not played, as, as ARPGs go. That's some old school stuff. But if you're looking for action RPGs, yeah, you have quite a few that are good, in my opinion. Quite a few fun ones. But what we got to do today is blast some, some alpha. So, we started setting up a prot spec yesterday, and I, I still might do that. But I do need to... I need to file some reports here. Otis, thank you very much for the pro... And Big Flex for 37 months. Is Fury back? Yeah, kinda. I think it's about as back as it is in Dragonflight. Maybe even less back, actually. However... We'll see. Where he feels alright so far, but I mean, like, I'm not comparing it to anything. Just comparing it to just playing the game, you know? Do I play any PvE in Dragonflight, Mythic Plus, or Raids? Presumed in? I am. Uh, a little bit, yeah. We had to we had to raid a little bit to get my to get my uh, my legendary. We're zoomed in because I was taking a little screeny shot for thumbnail. Change the sound kind of mid. I don't know. It feels it feels all right, but then again, I haven't played other classes yet, so it's like other classes could be like insane, and warriors just kind of like, why would I play prot? Uh, just for the purpose of one, I guess, getting a feel for the spec, just to see how it is. And two, to queue dungeons faster in the alpha, specifically, so we can get that going. I tried DK, not yet, but it's on the list. It's it's high on the list. Like DK and Rep Pally, maybe even Windwalker Monk. People seem pretty excited about that one. Listening to Belgo talk about WoW to the massive audience they have was kind of crazy. I mean, listen, like, they, they probably don't have a whole lot of... PvP expertise, you know, but they 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 make WoW news videos. I don't watch all of his videos. I, I I I don't have time to watch everybody in the community's videos. But doing React content is kind of like a little window into like one of their videos, and maybe we'll maybe we'll watch more. I mean, I think they make good content. They, it certainly succeeds. If they're nice guys, but it was kind of funny to have Pika like freak out about them not knowing. Uh. You know, even things like the, uh, the amount of players in a solo shuffle. <laughs> Pretty funny. Torchlight 1 and 2 are very different than Torchlight Infinite, but Torchlight Infinite is just good. Yeah. Infinite felt more like Lost Ark. It's insane, because Lost Ark is not... Maybe Lost Ark leveling felt like uh, Torchlight Infinite leveling, but Lost Ark is a raiding game. You do dailies and raid. And Torchlight Infinite is like PoE streamlined. The new zone looks good visually. Yeah, I, th I think that this this first zone is pretty chill. There's not it, it's it's pretty like just you know nothing too crazy. It feels like the like the sky is just like kind of. It feels like they may add a skybox in like later or something, because the sky is just kind of you know at least right now not a cloud in the sky just blue you know. We'll see, huh? I do like it, but it, it's just pretty... It's pretty chill. The new zone. An empty, yeah. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, we've been we've been kind of flying around and checking out some of the little areas in there. There's, there's some delves around this area. I don't know what the other delves are. Oh, what this thing is. I'm gonna check that out. We'll see, but we've mostly just been doing dungeons. How are Warriors doing in the current uh, War Within meta? <laughs> I mean, dude, it's like not even the first week of the alpha. I, don't, I mean, if a meta has developed, it, it certainly will change. Um, but I'm not even really so sure a meta has developed. That's not been my objective to establish the meta. It's mostly just like, 
how's it feel to play a warrior? Are my abilities working correctly? I do need to mention that, um, seems to be, uh, seems like the cooldown reduction effects for blade storm like anger management um and what's what's the other slayer thing Anger management and then this slayer thing. Unrelenting onslaught. And a pro probably. That's one of the things we found yesterday for sure, I think. Holy crap, man. Rodham with the 140 months. What in the world, dude? Holy moly. And big flex for you, man. No flex is big enough. But thank you, dude. Good to see you and welcome back, man. You're a legend. Do warriors feel as bad as a lot of people are saying they are? I don't know how bad people are saying they are, but I think warriors feel, like, fine. But, of course, like, I'm, I'm playing in this, like... You know, peaceful land of no DPS thing, like no DPS meters, and I'm just like playing the game, making sure things work right. And if they don't, then, you know, submit a bug report and hopefully it helps. So I'm just good in season four next Tuesday, and I'll probably, I would imagine arms will be about as good as it currently is on Tuesday. I don't think they're really changing anything, are they? Don't know. Change the prot tree from what you can tell. I'll show you what the prot tree looks like. I have no idea if it changed though. We'll see. Because I have never played prot. So. Let's see. It's a, they kept the talent system. You don't have to redo your talents at the start of the pack. Yeah. I mean, Rodham has been subbed for just about as long as we have the ability for someone to sub to our channel at this point. Uh, we are live on Twitch and YouTube right now. We're also live on like Twitter and Facebook, but those are not like our primary streaming platforms. Those are just like people like watching over there. That's that's fine. And a lot of times it like lets people know that we're live, so you can come over and hang out on Twitch or YouTube. But yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, give the stream a thumbs up. Leave a lurk on Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch, use that link that's pinned to go give the stream a thumbs up and leave a lurk on YouTube. Just you know, cross lurk. Um, yeah, I, I I think that's. That's the main thing I wanted to submit. Unless I already fixed it, but I don't, I don't think so. Should we do another, do another little Fury run? Or should we keep setting up prop? Yeah. Alright, let me if Tally is trying to uh, DPS, maybe I will do prot. Should we try to do prot today? Cook something up. But you know, it is what it is. Send it. But no, we're we're always live on Twitch. We, I think we were setting up Mountain Thane. Should we do, uh... Why is this like a free point? This is weird. I don't know. I don't... Whatever. Um... I kind of wanted to try a Colossus. Is Fury Rage Sword? No, no. That's on Delves. They, uh... They're kind of short and kind of easy. Not enough mobs. The screen is not centered. It is centered, but what you're noticing is that um, you it, it's uh, here. I played an ultra wide monitor.
All right. Should I? Yeah, let me get some buttons together here. The crit block amount isn't in. Yeah, which one should we try first? Just spam shockwave. We can do that or Mountain Thane. Mountain Thane seems fine too, but Colossus seems all right. I mean, do I have enough buttons? Like, do I, are we good? I feel like I need to buy and ignore pain in more places. Let me see. We need, we need more ignore. All right, guys. Remember, you asked for this, but but actually nobody asked. I'm just stepping up to the plate, baby. Prop time. This is <laughs> I'm coming. Here we go. Time to bring the heat. All right, this uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but here, but here we go. That Mr. Laced Up Zill, thank you, bro, for the 88 months. Big flex for you, dude. Pumping us up, thank you, man. Yeah, I need more ignore pain. You guys ready for this? All right. Then maybe I need to make a maybe I need to make, make a horde warrior, I guess. And Uber Docs, good to see you too, man. Big flex for the over the year. Oh my gosh, thank you, man. Off work, back to bed. <laughs> Thanks for the content. Oh my gosh, you're on that grind right now. Holy moly. Only ignore pain if HP bar is somehow going down. Okay. All right. Whoa, I need mounts and stuff. All right. Sounds good. Where's me mounts? Go Mountain Thane and press Thunderclap. We could. Should we go Mountain Thane first? Mountain Thane, press Thunderclap. Sounds good. What mount should we ride? As Prot. This thing has armor on it. Should we do some kind of armored? What's a, what's a cool flying armored mount? I think that thing can't fly. I need some kind of armored dragon. I mean, glad all all glad mounts have armor. Ooh, looks like some kind of tank thing. Yeah, coming. Coming to tank. Let's go. Tank Jira rolling up. This looks alright. What do you guys think of my uh, my uh, tank tree here? Looking solid. Looking good. No PvP talents. So I would never bring a tank abomination into PvP. The the animation is a little different in terms of the way it looks like when you hit like the, the ground AoE, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Make it worth it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you can actually. Shield charge? 
Nah. I like these ones. I don't need more buttons. Oh, I just need just be passively better. Yeah, are these guys all horde? No. This guy's alliance. So it's not just me. Maybe maybe I should get in a. What do you guys think? Should I get in a stance? <laughs> Probably, huh? As you get into alpha, you you do the application. But I mean, as someone who's you know a World of Warcraft content creator, maybe it's different. But they did put out. Didn't they put out like a like a Twitter post about it or something? Maybe there's probably forum posts about it. Do you enjoy the War Within, or does it feel like DF 2.0? Can it be both? Can it feel Rick, like familiar and be still something I enjoy? That's kind of how I feel about it. I, I feel like it definitely feels like it's building off of uh, Dragonflight. It's not one of those expansions where um, it feels completely different. You know? I want to... Get this thing. Yeah, I don't know why those are keybinds. Okay. You guys ready? These guys are in for it now, dude. All right, where do I go? Where do I go? What do I do? Need some more thunderclap. Ignore some pain. Call it good, right? Our tanks better just like kind of stand still. Definitely something I don't do very well in PvE is just stand still. Come here, you little rascals. Stormball everybody. Oh my gosh. Shockwave the world. Look how many shield blocks I've got going. What the heck? How's my tanking, guys? What do you think? When in doubt, ignore paint it out, baby. We're sending. Gotta focus up, though, boys. Okay, we do have the talent where it reduces the cooldown. It's good on Shocky Wave. Count Shockula. I like I kind of have a lot of haste. Farming. Wanted to get these guys too. It's not like these guys care about running the dungeon fast. They just want to do DPS and kill everything, right? So here you go. Here you go, boys. It's speared. I'm mountain thaning. I'm doing it. Wait, is ignore pain on global for prot? What's that? No, it can't be. There we go. Farmed. My new favorite stat. <laughs> I don't think so. Stats are inflated again. Um. Well, they didn't. Yeah, they didn't. Uh, you guys, ready? They didn't do a stat squish. So that's a thing. They just kind of. Yeah, they just kind of kept it going. That may be what you're noticing, right? Should I be uh, should I be doing a uh, battle stance tanking? All right, give him the bruise. Brew him up. I don't think hitting him does anything right now, right? I can do mechanics. 
Yeah, I don't have intervene bound at all. Like, I don't have it talented, so. Oh, no, you can kind of hit him a little. Doesn't do much. Come over here, partner. Finish him off, boys. I, I could use Avatar, but I don't. I, I think that I'll save Avatar for the big packs. Bonk. Insane. Oh, the tank gets all the loot. Of course they do. Oh dang. Okay. What? My level is too low. What? Hey. No. Way. Whatever. Oh, that was a good boss. A clean boss. Alright guys, kill the fire thingies. I don't know how much to pull, so I'm pulling two. This seems good. Where's he going? Uh, okay. My guy just didn't kick. I have no target. Yeah, just bring it to the tank. Thank you. Oh, it's probably it's, it's probably focus kick. In, in my normal kick slot, right? Yeah. That's exactly what's happening. It's Pimmel. There we go. Oh, I should be pressing it like impending victory sometimes too, probably, huh? Every now and then. Wait, why do I still have Piercing Howl in this build? Didn't we decide against the Piercing Howl? Alright, this is my first ever prot thingy, so... Cut me some slack. Got him. Oh my gosh. He got roasted. Threat for days. Or pain for days too. Yeah. So who does who does the the failed bruise, or whatever. Uh oh. Nor pain this. Ooh. Just barely. Stop that thing's damage. All right. It's good enough. I'm gonna thane these guys down. Mountain thane. Hiya! Hiya! There we go, you guys are safe. Under control. Thunderclap on CD, of course, right? Ooh, yuck. Pink. Alright. Great job, everyone. Don't no slack me, oh jeez. Master loot? <laughs> no, I'm not. The, the, has tanking gone to my head already? This much? I'm master looting alpha dungeons. The tank ego has already inf been inflicted on me in the first dungeon. Classic. Uh-oh. Nice you. So wait, Thunderclap is uh, like a one second cooldown. <laughs> What's going on? I was not pressing Thunderclap on cooldown. Because I didn't realize it was a one second cooldown. Nice. I'll grab this hooligan. The hot goblin, clever. We got two of these. Donna boys. Uh oh. Have I acted in error? Oh lordy. I pull in too many of them little thingies. Blame the tank. We have two druids, so it should be a B res central here. Oh snap! Getting chonked. So my job is to. Like, pull them away from the little rascals whenever they spawn in. I'm probably not running, like, giant circles like that. 
Hey! <laughs> You're supposed to go over here. I kind of—I I guess I needed to pre-pull him, huh? Uh oh. What are the little ones? That what are they called? I knew I knew there that they would exist at some point, but so the the spouting stout is this thing. Then he spouts these little his little rascals around. Ah, it's part of this. Wait a minute. Hey. Hey. Yeah. There we go. Come over here. Learning on the job, boys. Learning on the job. Got a little bit of room to maneuver, don't we? Stable? It's fine. Yeah, I could I could shield block a lot. Learning on the job. Alright. Got this, boys. Good boss. Good quality boss. Oh, except for the exploding bruise. I don't like those guys. Free samples? Oh, thanks. Alright. Farming. Everything's fine. Did you already try out Fury? Yeah. But we're not we're not done trying Fury. Um, but we'll uh, take a second and uh, play some prop just so we can kind of get dungeons faster. I don't know how many Buzz Buzz bees we're supposed to uh, pull here. Stunning them. More ignore pain. Oh, yuck. Yeah, see, there's a there's a little bit more of a blue kind of AoE on the, the Thunder Blast. But yeah, it's, it's not a lot more. This is true. What is this? Ooh. Get punished. Been a very naughty boy. Uh, yeah. All my buttons just light up all the time, man. Just playing it, I don't know. Just playing. Just gaming. Yeah. Oh, I'm so slow. Ouch. Everything is fine. What am I noticing here? It's weird. Whatever. Oh, it's on its own cooldown. Okay, that's, that's, I'm just seeing it in two places. That's freaking me out. But yeah, I want more thunder blast. It's time for Avatar. We got, we got deep wounds. Wait, no, we don't have deep wounds on stuff. Where's deep wounds come from? Oh no, it is on them. It's not showing on their like frame, like or sorry, on their little above their health plate. The deep wounds is from revenge, but it wasn't like showing. How many targets does revenge hit? Like three? Or is it, is it more now? It just oh, it just hits everything in front of you. Oh, insane! Holy, that's a lot of bees. Wait. What, what, what button do I have my my shop? There we go, big shop. There we go, make sure they all get taunted to me. Aren't you bee wranglers? Time to wrangle the wrangle. 
Wrangle the Wranglers. Shield walling up. Rallying for the homies. Debuffing these dinguses. Just doing it all. Pressing victory rush for the first time this entire dungeon. They're coming to get you. There's a thing from beyond just putting in work over there. Thunder Blast! Oh, snap. That's gonna sting. I think I definitely have that habit of just like moving too much when I'm tanking, but I mean it just is what it is. Just how it just how it's gonna be. It's gotta stay on the move, man. But I, I think the days of tanks just kinda like sitting still are gone. Gotta dodge mechanics and stuff, right? Gotta get moving. Gotta get active. Kapow! I do gotta focus up though, man. This is serious stuff. Alright, going for it. Pretty good. So this boss, I think you can mess stuff up, so I don't know what's going on. We'll find out. I think you can mess things up. Ravenous Cinderbees! All those bozos. So what, what's up with the kegs? Like, do I want the kegs to get exploded? Do I not want the kegs to get exploded? I don't know. Pop Avatar, call it good. Thunder Blast! There we go. Alright, I don't know. Whatever. Guess we're just insane. Or bees. Yeah, so revenge just hits everything in front of you, huh? Busted. Ooh, is that a double shield slammer? Busted. Have I not had battle shot on this whole time? Or did it just change where my buff was? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, massive health boost will feel nice, yeah. We're doing the, uh, well, I think we have the Victory Rush Town, I think, is part of this. Thane. I just didn't take it. Took this one instead. My Thunder Blast. A little lightning strikes. Just reducing damage taken. Trying to, like, avoid active abilities, you know? Just press the, press the normal stuff that I don't usually press because I don't usually play Prot, and then we'll, we'll add to it. It's like the opposite of what we were doing yesterday in the Colossus, which we just added like a bunch of buttons. Stakes No, 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 we're doing fine. We're owning. I like Colossus Arms a lot. It may, it might even be my favorite. Truly. Out of all the various Arms builds that you can play. Just overall, it might be my favorite one. This is about to get zesty, JK. Just gotta clear out these these uh these thingies, man. Give us a little bit of room to maneuver. You know? What's she doing now? Nice. Let me guess, that's just gonna like one shot you in Mythic, huh? Just proc that avatar? Love it. Nice. Gaming. Gaming. So we can't just Q because we're cross faction. I need to figure that out. Anyway. Yeah, why do we have Piercing House though? I feel like I should have put this somewhere else. This talent could probably go to, yeah, Revenge for sure. Yeah, do that. Okay, sure. Alright. So 
So Tally is gonna tank one or, or maybe a few. He's gonna he's gonna get on his pally. Um Which means that we can DPS. What what DPS spec do you guys wanna see? Do you guys wanna do some Colossus Arms? I could go for some Colossus Arms. I'm down. Wait, Thunder Clap give deep wounds for Prot? I don't think so. I think it's just off revenge. So we'll see. Let's see. Awesome, Caleb. We're pumping though. Yeah, I'm down to down to kind of play whatever. Let's we can do Colossus Arms. Let's do it. Send it. That was a good one though. GG. First ever tank dungeon. As Mountain Thane Prot. Gotta play Colossus Prot, but again, if, if Tally wants to DPS, I'll I'll do some as uh as tank. GG. That'll do, that'll do. What's wrong with you? I don't know, bro. This is what it is. It's it Mr. Warrior of Arabia. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't respond to my to my hello. This must be a replay. No. Just I just gotta focus up, man. Just gotta focus on my prot tanking. Alright. GGTY. See y'all in a sec. Let's see. Uh yeah, let's do let's do Colossus Arms. I think that that might even feel the best so far. We'll see. Who's raiding? Oh my gosh. A bap game and thanks, dude. Big flex for you and them raiders. Welcome. Learn on the job. Yeah, learn on the job. I mean it is warrior, right? I think I think uh Fury feels fine. But uh if you're deciding between Fury Warrior and Fire Mage, you definitely gotta play Fury Warrior. Fury Warrior Fire Mage. Huh? A decision of that. Alright. Yeah, why can't I wear this trinket? What's up with that? It's only for tank specializations, but it wouldn't let me wear it. Maybe it knows. It just knows that I'm not a tank. So just didn't even let me do it. Wait, what? I can equip two crit ones? It's kind of crazy. Alright, let me uh, hop in the... Oops. The groupie finder. I'll make one eventually. And we'll do some Colossus arms. Is that what we logged out as? Yes. Do a little group ski. Wait, what the heck? Algathar? Algalar? I just do, I just do custom? Like, what is this? Oh. Uh, we are in the, in the metery. There we go. Jira Alpha Dungies will get Mr. Tally in there and then whoever else wants to join. Fire it up. For Cinder Room Metery, which is where I'm at. These stands and ignore pain. Arms is kind of a tanko, yeah? It's good. <laughs> Why are we even here just to suffer? Is that just like a general comment? What's what's the Blizzard's idea with Bladestorm and Alpha? Uh, I think it performs about the same as it did before, uh, except some of the things are not working right with like Slayer. But they'll fix that. They'll fix it. It'll be fine. Can you use the AI Party Finder? Uh, I haven't done that yet. No. But he is a dwarf. He is a dwarf. All right. Uh, should I just send us in the in the normal queue now? There we go. Yeah, we'll play some Fariki stuff. We'll play Skull Splitter, Dragon Roar, Colossus. Ooh, are we gonna do this spiteful Serenity stuff too? I did kind of want to see what that felt like in a dungeon. 
I can't imagine it being that much better, but let's find out. Like that one, Crash Land? People seem to be enjoying that, um, Reactception video. Watching from Taiwan. What's up, dude? Thanks for tuning in. Good morning from California. It's kind of early, but getting after it. 248 Delif is nuts. That's crazy. Eight weeks of prep training for that deadlift. Are you are you doing like a like a piloting meet? I'm just hitting some some insano weights. Pomping. Need to see some frost DK gameplay. Yeah. We'll do we'll do a little bit more warrior. But um go from there. No, I'm good, Omar. I'm good on that. That's awesome, Dabu. You're pumping. And Holton, thanks so much for the 43 months, man. Big flex for you. Pumping us up as well. Thank you. Second meet ever. Sheesh. We'll keep it going, man. We're not usually on this early. Usually we're almost getting ready to get up at this point in the day. But, uh, yeah. Usually in the gym first. Yeah, that, that was a fun video. We'll do we'll do more Pika reacts, I think. I was looking for a healer and DPS. I think this spec is fine. Unfortunately, how like how is this talent a real thing? The boys, how is this a real thing? Where? Bladestorm gives you Avatar, and Avatar gives you Bladestorm. But then this just gives you Wreck on Avatar. It's kind of not awesome, huh? I don't know. Let's to be a dad soon, too. Oh, congrats. Need to find the time and discipline to make a figure in the gym like you. You better get it going now. <laughs> it's not about finding time. It's not just going to be there, especially not with the kid. You're going to have to make time, but yes, you do need to start doing that. Let's build the habit now, because your whole world's about to get rocked here pretty soon. Congratulations, though, man. As an SMF user, would on-hit talents and other synergies with abilities remedy the issue with SMF? But having SMF give stats go toward making SMF better? I don't know. What What is currently the issue? Besides, it just does less damage. Like, what, what do you... As, as someone who plays it, you might have more insight than me. Thank you, Crash Landed. Locking this up for three months, too. Holy crap, man. Big flex for you. Thank you, dude. You have more... You probably have more insight than me. Because I don't have... I don't have much of that one. Just locking it in, man. Thank you, dude. Sheesh. Thanks, a bap for the raid, dude. What were you guys doing today? Getting it started, man. Hello, Beard. I am your Chinese fans. Do you like... Do you liking World of Warcraft? <laughs> Uh, I like that. Uh, yes, I am. I'm enjoying World of Warcat very much. Thank you. Welcome. That's funny. <laughs> That's on YouTube. Hello, Beard. I am your Chinese fans. Do you liking World of Warcat? <laughs> Lovely. Welcome. The PvP is dying video you posted was a great watch. People are digging that one. That's good. Just gotta, just gotta do it, man. Gaming. Um... It's got to do it. But I, I, I like uh, I like Pika's style, so we'll probably do another React video with him. I mean Warcraft. <laughs> yep, I got you, bro. I got you. Love for PvP to come back hard. Yeah, we'll see. Usually the first season is usually pretty bumping. I think, I mean, you know, PvP is doing its thing. I definitely have to uh, firmly um, disagree with the idea that like Blizzard just doesn't care about PvP. That's just not true. But um, yeah, I mean, always, always ways to make it more fun and better. You know, people just need to sort of feel like they want to do it, give it a try, have some fun with it. Um, but PvP continues to be fun to play. If there's more people getting involved, it's always better. Yeah, I would definitely was definitely was miring that sandwich. I was. Uh, is Fury decent in PvE, PvP? It's definitely good in PvE. It's not as good in PvP, but you can play it. Yeah, Plunderstorm was great. Yeah. That was fun. That was good stuff. Think it needs to be simpler? PvP needs to be simpler? Eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There's, there's a lot of discussions right now 
you know, around add-ons and stuff, and I wouldn't be mad if they decided to take away add-ons. I do, I do like, they, one of the things they need to put in the game is that for your ability to, like, move this around. Like, they like to have your map be kind of, like, just where your map is. They like to have your character frame just be where your character frame is, and, and I can understand why that is helpful. This keeps it simple, but just selfishly as a, someone who plays on an ultrawide monitor, I actually like it to be like this. I like to crop my screen so that I can see the ultra wide, but you guys don't have to. But this is actually more cropped than it needs. The reason why I was doing that is because of the monitor capture. But now I understand. Um, but anyway, um, basically I like to, to compress my UI a little bit that you guys see, my screen a little bit. Because um, I just like the way that looks better with the, without the bars. But it's hard to do that without, uh, you know, an add-on that lets me move my map around. Well, why did it do that? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I, I didn't, I hadn't tabbed back into WoW before I pressed W, so it went to starting soon screen. My bad. Push to ultra wide and streaming, it sucks. I, it's just, it's just so nice. It's just so nice. We got rid of add-ons that changed the whole game? Yeah, a little bit. Do you have advice for where? Yeah, all over my channel, man. I got lots of guides for you, lots of videos for you. Oh, yeah. Is Thunderclap used on Fury now? It's kind of funny that I emoted it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Why is there not like a keybind? Oh, it's I is the group binder for this. Okay. There we go. Got him. Uh, exclamation mark monitor over here on Twitch. We'll link it for you. And Vanguard, good to see you, bro. It's a, uh, the early shift today. Big flex for you. Thank you, man. Appreciate the love, dude. Thank you, thank you. Thanks a bap. Yeah, we'll be around for a little bit. My opinions aren't super valid because I, dude, are not playing since Shadowlands. However, I've always thought no add-on PvP seemed like a better idea. Kind of requires skill and observation. Remember what's used of ability. Somewhat unsure. I mean, it's fine. You're allowed to have an opinion, bro. And that's a, that's a fine one. I'm gonna play Colossus this dungeon. Where's this guy? I mean, we need a, we need a, a DPS too, don't we? Come on in then. Come on in. Yeah, we got him. We got him. I'm interested in some RBGs. Is that what you're doing? End of the season push. Respect it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think spiteful serenity is the play, but I'm gonna keep goofing around and seeing what's up. This this uh, test of might, spiteful serenity combo could be kind of fun. I mean, if you can. Uh, you can heal. Good to go. Time to slam. We'll get after it. So you like big number? I do. Colossus is big number. Yeah, a friend really likes the tank and prot specs. Do you think there's a chance this expansion for be PvP worthy? I mean, you can play PvP. Like, you can just get in there and just dink around. So, like, if you're new, you may as well play what you're comfortable with, and if you're comfortable with prot, then fair enough, but it, no, tanks tanks are not usually going to be the things that are in PvP. Usually, you'll have DPS and healers that are that are the specs that are normal for PvP. Yeah, you definitely hit, like, 1.6, 1.5 million. Oh, jeez. Uh, how is Warriors Fart? It feels good. It, it's, it's, not a lot has changed since Dragonflight. So like your your utility and stuff is kind of the same. Now things like shockwave lasting longer are a thing. So that's cool. You have some healing out of your uh Colossus spec. And with Slayer you have um kind of like mobility things where you can charge out of roots and uh Bladestorm will be up more frequently so you can like immune CC more frequently, that kind of thing. But there's not like a lot of new abilities except demolish. Talent tree is the worst. Yeah, they made some changes that I, I don't think are like buffs, right? So, 
Stopped playing WoW for the past five years. I find it harder and harder when I'll, you have to use 40 to 50 keybinds. What class has 50 keybinds? I mean, I'm trying to think. Do I have 50 keybinds? I guess if I bind, if I have to bind all of these, I mean, how is this 50? Professor Monk has 50. Sheesh. I just play Warrior, bro. Look, they dropped the ball on Warrior Hero Town Square. Other classes. You have to see the other classes. Oh yeah, I definitely did. I definitely did forget to reset. Oops, yeah, we'll do. There we go. It is reset. There we go. I have 41 keybinds showing my action bars. Yeah, some, some of them are, are redundant, though. So you, you can't always trust my action bars. But yes, I never really thought about how many actual keybinds I have. Because I don't, I don't use all of them all the time. You have, like, a couple rotation keybinds. And, like, then, like, different cooldowns. But yeah, I mean, it's a lot. I suppose, compared to other games at least. But I don't know man, WoW, WoW is a game that you kind of start off leveling and you have like two abilities and then you slowly add to it over time. But I mean eventually you learn your class and then having all these neat abilities to use in certain situations ends up feeling good but again I, I think it's it's less that WoW needs to be simpler and it's more that people just need to be willing to take some time to learn and and know that it's worth it right but it's hard it's hard to convince people to, to put time and effort into things you know fair enough the tier set for the war within uh i saw what it looked like the blue one how's the alpha feeling it feels good it feels like dragonflight but yeah did they change something about this in wow uh, I'm not using any add-ons. Maybe that's one of the things that you're looking at. So like my, but then I, my my UI is not like ultra cluttered most of the time anyway. If anything, I'm using uh, there's more on my screen in some ways because I'm using a, this resource bar that I don't usually use. That's okay. That's all right. Especially these days, there's so many other options for committed mind people. Yeah. No, I mean like. For me too, sometimes it's just like, you just want to like log in and just do Plunderstorm because you don't want to have all this, this extra stuff going on, and fair enough. But, yeah. I've, my, my perspective is different because I've, I've played WoW for a long time and WoW has always been like my main game, like my home game. So. And like you, I feel like you can build a, a lot of skill set in WoW. That's very WoW specific, but I mean, I guess if you had like a like an FPS skill set, you're still just clicking heads or whatever, but like you know a lot about the game and there's there's definitely like levels to it, right? But WoW just kind of... I don't know. It's a combination of knowledge and, and gameplay and whatever else, right? It's like setting up your character properly and whatnot. Have I made a tier list yet? No. <laughs> no, you probably should uh, for content, even though it has no value, right? Like, a uh, uh, first week of alpha tier list, people would like that. But yeah, it doesn't really, there's no point besides just like, you know, getting YouTube views, which is valuable, but no, I haven't done it yet. I can just make something up and it'd probably be just as good, you know? What's up, JR, though? Pure content and rage bait, yeah, yeah. People like that. Let's see what we've got here, team. Let's see if we can uh, send it. Does my blade storm last longer because my avatar lasts longer? I don't think it does, but I wonder. Kind of funny. So I'm kind of having been on the grind ever since. Before and after. Pretty cool. Grateful. What do I hear from some people I've tried to talk into starting WoW? So they're put off by having to level to the max. And then spend days to weeks getting decent PvP gear. Then starting really learn the grind PvP. Exactly. People just, you know. It, it requires some commitment. And it's worth it, but sometimes hard to convince people about that. Fair enough. What's up, Panda? Your chat linked me a channel the other day that did eight tier list videos in three weeks. They all really well views. Yeah. I mean, if, if if you're willing to play the game, you know, it can be valuable. It can be productive. Remick, thank you, man. Big flex for the 19 months. Yeah. It, it is. It is. 
Your Instagram's going wild because it says about Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah? Positive or? I'm, I'm a T Swift enjoyer. There's that. But yeah, I mean, it's. It is, uh. It is something. Set your role. Here, yeah, here you go. You can do it. Send it. It is crazy, though. You're not positive <laughs> about T Swift. <laughs> what are you hating on T Swift for, bro? She's a nice lady. I didn't listen to her new music, but apparently it's good. I forget it is. Time to pop. We are playing Colossus Arms with Skull Splitter. And we're doing a test of might, spiteful serenity situation. So it's going to be uh, interesting. We're going to see if we actually crank up any strength, but everybody's doing too much god dang damage. Not able to spend any rage. This also got nerfed, right? Which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1.2 millis. So, what's what kind of strength stack we get? 13% strength, and that's not that bad. On a 45 second cooldown or whatever. I also never pressed skulls, but one time, or dragon roar. One. Oh no, he pressed dragon roar. This build, we have a lot of buttons to press. And it's also like you just kind of do a lot of damage consistently. Again, all of these questions I have, like, is this good? Will be answered by just an add-on that tracks DPS. But right now, we're just kind of sending it, seeing how it feels. Going by feel. See if it feels like too many buttons to press. See if it feels bad to... Like, wait for your damage to kick in. That was 25% strength with all the blade storms. I mean, that's a lot of strength. It's a lot of strength, and you're always just juiced up with uh, all this overwhelming power or whatever, right? I'm a, I, uh, I think I'm playing unhinged. I don't know if I really want to. I think I just want more strength stack with this build. I was thinking about it. I feel like Slayer probably even plays that, too. Yeah. I don't think I did. Did I leap at this guy yet? No. Get you some of that. Proc and just a... Tw I mean, 12% strength even off of just, like, doing nothing. I mean, it's something, you know? It's something. We're fully stacked, ready to schmack. Yeah. All right. Got him. Yeah, we'll have to get some DPS meters to actually see what's going on. See how it goes. Being married to Patrick Mahomes really made Taylor Swift's career. Yeah, true. True. Astute take. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Unhinged is kind of nice. Because it gives you your stacks of demolish or whatever faster, but... Like, that's just so sad. But the thing that you're hitting with demolish dies, and then just, like, that, that final swing just does nothing. It's very awkward. Can't just lazily use my ability. What do you mean? Yeah, Avatar last 40 seconds. That's, that's a long Avatar. You're just sitting here with your bleeds doing more. Strength stacking up. It's kind of a fun idea. I don't know if it's better. Usually, it, it probably won't be, just because it wasn't better before, and nothing really has changed significantly, but... Hey, what if, dude? What if you're just slamming in PvP, and people disarm your Warbreaker, and it just doesn't matter, you just Thunderclap, keep spending Rage. And then, Warbreaker's over. Then you start doing, you know, more damage because of the Strength stack, too. 26% increased Strength. 
you know? The pressure just never ends. You're doing giga damage with your bleeds the whole time. It never ends! The pressure! So it's kind of like, uh, I mean, the Slayer can do something similar to that. Wait, let's see how these bleeds stick on this guy. He's feeling the sting! Just runs face first into the wall, he's taking so much damage. He just, he can't. He can't even. Yeah, so then we need, then we need, uh, Hurricane. Top of all that. Uh-oh. Yeah, it just stops. <laughs> so sad. My demolish! How dare you! See what I'm saying? Like, arms, like, every hit just feels like you're chonking. Which is very, like, you know, what you want for the class fantasy of arms. At least one option. And you can play, like, the super high, uh... I guess just, like, high mobility, high uptime style of, uh... Slayer. Pow, pow. Pow! Even with, like, the baby Colossus Smash, it's still hitting pretty hard. Guy is getting the slam a jamma, dude. But yeah. Big skull splitter bleeds. Things stanging. Big overpowers. The yeah, overpower is a, a real big hit with all the overwhelming uh, power stacks and stuff. It's cool. Bang. But no, I haven't really been struggling for rage, but I also really haven't been pressing uh, a whole lot of. Ignore pain in PvE, right? Ignore pain in PvP might feel worse. By a lot. Like, I don't- I definitely don't have enough rage for ignore pain doing my normal, like, PvE rotation. So, hmm. Hmm. You like his wife more than- in fact, my wife more than Taylor. I, I don't- I mean, I don't really know... I don't really know them well enough to, like, like them or not, but... I don't know. <clears throat> But you don't like Tay Tay? What the heck, bro? Swifties are mean. <laughs> okay, well, that's different. <laughs> I don't know. I got, re I got respect for T Swift. Please tell Blizzard to remove healers from the solo shuffle queue. Uh, no. That's a bad idea. <laughs> no. I will not be doing that. It does make the queues a little longer, though. Needing a healer, but... The game quality without healers would be horrendous. So, no. No, I don't think I will. Miss Beans! Can't get a Q? Well, you can play healer. But yeah, it is annoying, I agree, to not be able to... play the shuff. But... Uh, I think removing healers from the queue would just make them... You'd, you'd get in a game and it would just be a... It just wouldn't even be an arena. Just like... 3 DPS deathmatch? It's just like, what even is this, dude? It would just be worse, man. But yeah, I feel you. Them queues are not ultra fun to sit in. I don't know about Skull Splitter, but we gotta send it anyway, man. And it's, it's one thing, it's a button that you can press that generates rage, which is kind of cool, I guess. But also, uh, what am I gonna, what am I gonna take? Right? Like, what do we even want? Nothing. To demolish these dudes. What, what does he need? Oh. Blam. So Slayer's gonna be proccing Blade Storms to kind of do some AoE, and then this guy has Demolisher once in a while for some extra AoE. The 10% debuff, if you can keep it stacked up, is kind of juicy for a Slayer, though. Uh-oh. Don't die, boys. Chuck his little rally. Corindos.
I I wouldn't be surprised if Colossus Arms is like the strongest in PvE right now too. Just due to the way that its damage works. Like stacking up all the bleeds and then overpower is hitting so hard. And overpower being like AoE. Little shockwaves that you do. Uh oh. I would not be surprised. Ow, what the? Chill. Let's of this. Yeah, we just need to get out of unhinged. That'll be really banging. I'm also using Demolish, like, relatively infrequently. But I guess it does juice my bleeds up. I don't know. I think Colossal might be my favorite right now, actually. Details not available? I'm not sure about that one. I think that there is, like, a recount or something that you can get. But I'm, I'm still kind of in, like, the uh, the phase where I don't want to know. Just want to, like, play and see how see how it feels. You know? Then, of course, just make sure things are working right. So we are scaled to level 80 for these dungeons, so there's that. Or a Parkway Dry Listener than T Swift. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. I don't listen to like Taylor Swift a ton just like on my own, but. I I can get down some T Swift. I'm not ultra particular about about my music. Like I I I I know like what music I tend to enjoy listening to, but it's fine to kinda expand, I think, for once in a while. Let's go, dude. Skull splatter this guy. Yeah. All right. I think what will really kind of enlighten me more than DPS meters is actually just doing like skirmishes or something. Because all the tuning and stuff will change. What what I think that is good to focus on now is like the flow of the class and. Whether stuff seems cool. And then, uh. Then you can ruin all that by just looking at numbers later. We'll see. Makes the same music over and over. <laughs> Marketino's this one. TB, what, what did she do to you, bro? What did T Swift do to you? Jeez Louise. Did she, did she, did she tell, tell this tale just a little too true? About teenage heartbreak. Could you relate a little too hard? Happens. She waved at you at a concert? Oh man. You know what, I th she probably did wave to you, you just didn't see it. That's what happened. You just missed it. Honest mistake though. These things do happen. Whoa! Take it easy. I'll try to get a little. So, does the. I wonder how much downtime on the buff is there. Like between your Colossus Smash and then your Strength buff. We're about to find out, aren't we? Because uh, it feels like it could be not much. You're either Colossus smashed up, or your strength buffed. Yeah, so there's like yeah, like 20 seconds of time where you're not gonna be Colossus smashed. It's about the same if your Colossus smash is a 30 second cooldown. Anger management. Ms. Bean. Ms. Bean. Oof, not getting back to you in the DMs. T Swift, just never been a fan, man. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. The Rookery, I'm down. So that's Colossus. I think Colossus feels good. We could try Slayer again. I don't think. Uh, I don't think they fixed the issue with uh, Bladestorm though. Because I can't tell if Bladestorm's cooldown is being reduced because they can't see the cooldown of Bladestorm. <laughs> it's just always a, uh, always appears to be off CD. 
Alright. GG's Panda. Let me let me add a hold on. His B tag. More soon. I think we're. I I don't know for B tag. I I feel like my B tag. On uh. On alpha is different, but I don't know. All good. GG. Big bump. If I was a wrestler, what would my name be? I don't, what, what if it was just Bajira? What if, what if I was just on brand? For my wrestling and otherwise. Just keep it keep it on brand, bro. How I feel on my new schedule? Uh, so I'm not do I'm not like streaming at this time in the morning every day, I don't think. Could though. Good. But um Yeah, I mean having having a, a little bit of a of a weekend gaming option is good. It's nice. The Dragon Daddy, I think so. We have to dress up, dragon costumes and stuff. I think Darnagal would be a fine place to hearth too. What feels better, Fury Arms, right now? Enough. I think Arms feels better. I do. I think Arms feels better. But um, let's see. It currently arms is kind of uh kind of pumping. I just I think the issue is that yeah, Slayer's just a little bit bugged, so makes it hard to really uh get some good uh, experimentation in. Unforch. I'm gonna park it here for a sec. While we're looking for a deeps. BRB two men while we're looking for uh, our next brave battler. Has this guy got a quest for me? Lufsela. All right, BRB two sex. Yeah. Yeah, I think Colossus feels the best. I'll, I'll, I'll knock these uh, knock these ads out of the way, so you guys don't have to watch them while we're while we're a game and BRB. All right, what kind of what kind of DPS spec do you guys want to see this time? Okay, what do you guys want to see now? Inside for alpha, you do, you do. You guys want to see some Thane Fury? I like that one. The fastest Fury warrior. Something with uh, the enrage that gives you movement speed and maybe single amount of fury for movement speed, maybe. Oh, 
Oh, like gameplay wise? I don't know. Should try a Slayer Warrior again? Slayer Arms? Let's see if it's working any differently. Oops. I should just switch it this way, I think. Slayer arms. Yeah, I don't I don't think they fixed it, but we'll we're about to find out. Alright, we'll we'll play Slayer Arms and if, we'll see if it's still bugged. I forgot to change the hurricane on my other build before I swapped over. Alright. We're just doing normal old Haste plus um, anger management for this one. Standard. No skull splitter though. We're going for precision on this one instead. I do think they need to make the uh, little sudden death extra activation, like even more than before. Like you barely notice it. So, yeah, Blade Storm, you'll see. I wonder if I, I mean, maybe I use like a macro, like a show tooltip or something, which might, might help that. Yeah, right now it just doesn't even show the cooldown. Awkward. But ideally, you'd have some nice quick uh, Blade Storm cooldowns to just send it. But right now, I'm not sure how to fix that, so. This is what it is. What's the theme of the War Within? Looks like Old War. Well, there's there's definitely some dwarf action going on. That is one of the main things. There's some dwarf stuff. Like every maybe every two war breakers, Blaze won't be up? Is that how that works, kind of, with anger management? You know, Blade Storm should come up a lot faster though, because we would have the uh, the execute consuming marked stacks giving us uh, like five seconds off the cooldown of Blade Storm, which is insane. So you just rip Blade Storms just all the time, which is awesome. We got three overwhelm stacks there somehow. They're getting there. I think Slayer will be cool when it's fixed. 3 million health, is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. I think it is. Blade stream, yeah, gotta, on the weekends we gotta get up early. We could do this during the week. It just makes my workouts way worse. Oh, snap, what the? <laughs> what? Got PK'd. Okay, yeah, don't get knocked outside. What the, I, I'm about to. Through the opening and like kill screen me. That's funny. Yeah, so don't don't get knocked through there. I was about to I I was gonna leap back. I would have been fine. <laughs> this is just a death plane. Yeah, what the heck? Good to know. Yeah, I feel I don't know why they did that. They they do not want you getting the scenic view out here. This this looks pretty, but don't go take a look. Do not. What's the build? Slayer Arms. Um which I think will be awesome, but it's bugged right now. The cooldown reduction effects on Bladestorm don't seem to be working. Well, so there are two things. One, cooldown reduction effects for Bladestorm don't work for anger management or the Slayer stuff for Fury. And it might not work for arms too, but you just can't see it because the, the cooldown of Bladestorm doesn't show properly as arms. So, yeah. 
Unfortunate. Yeah. Could do on hit attacks. Yeah, maybe. That could be kind of cool. Yeah. For Sigma Mind Fury. Where would those come from? Alright, rip. Rip. Because then, if, if they were Fury in general, like. Everybody would get it. The big tally carry. I see. PK us for the clip. Classic. Now Tally just PKing us so he can get the uh, solo the boss, carry the raid clip. I see how it is. Classic. <laughs> Pulls the boss right to the doors, yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I see. That's what I was wondering, Chico. I'll try. I'll try. In a second. Wait, where am I going? Am I going the right way? Been to find out. Oh. I'm down here. Nice. Let's see. We'll try we'll try show tooltip blade storm first. And uh if that doesn't work, we'll try just show tooltip. Are you liking or disliking the overworld dungeon designs aesthetically? Oh yeah, I mean I like it. It's cool. Whoa, Mez, thanks for the raid by the way, man. And big flex for all them Mez raiders coming in. Appreciate it, bro. Were you up late or up early with that one? Holy moly. Thank you, man. Um, the dungeons, I think, are sort of more new and cool looking than the first outdoor dun or outdoor zone. The first little leveling zone is pretty chill. It's like, but it's pretty basic. Oh, Mez is always a big W. He is. Thank you, man. It sucks to have to, random, to have two random macros for one ability. Well, I mean, it's, that's not how it's going to be eventually, right? It's just alpha. It's like first week of alpha. I have played Fury, yeah. I think I'll probably post like a, a Mountain Thane Fury, just good old, just doing DPS video here uh, today. And um, we have been playing it a lot on, on like stream. So you can either watch like the VODs on Twitch or check the uh, like past broadcasts on YouTube as well. Definitely a lot of Fury stuff going on. Yeah, getting up and getting after it and playing WoW, you know, <laughs> always a good solution. But also, Mez just dropped by with the raid, which is very, very kind. Welcome, Mez peeps. We are doing some, some War Within Alpha warrior stuff. Big surprise there. Trying out Slayer, which is uh, pretty dang cool. It's definitely a lot of like Bladestorm stuff, a lot of Bladestorm and Execute stuff. A lot of things that bring down the cooldown of Bladestorm. However, uh, it is bugged at the moment so that um, it's not showing the cooldown of Bladestorm. So you actually don't know if the cooldown reduction effects are working. Let me see. So if you make a... Okay, so the good news is if you make a macro and show tooltip Bladestorm, it does show the cooldown. And I think anger management seems to be working for it. That's good. I don't know if the marked thing is working for it though, but thankfully our our little uh, quick solution for that is good. The anger management is a little bit nerfed because they reduced the rage cost of all of our abilities and also reduced our rage gains a bit. So there's that. But overall Slayer is still really cool. Just bleed these fools. It'll be even cooler when everything works right, though. You get all the cooldown reduction. I feel like Marked for Death is not working right, though. Like, you're supposed to get... When a target is, like, you know... When you attack things, event like, just randomly, you'll put a Slaying Strike on them. And then a Slaying Strike, when you consume them, makes Execute hit harder. 
It also should be bringing down the cooldown of Bladestorm a bit, like by like five seconds. So I feel like we would notice it if it was working right. But if you like pressing Bladestorm, and I do, uh, this is a this would be a fun build for us. It also procs little blade storms off of overpower, which is funny, because that one like on globe like it's it, uh, by not on global, but like it's between your globals, so it never it will not interrupt your rotation. But it's only break you out of CC, which is hilarious. Um, that does 250% uh, more damage. So it's a it's a hard blade storm tick, and it also puts that little debuff on people. Where each like tick of Blade Storm and every time you consume a Slaying Strike, just increase the damage they take from you by one percent. So, once we can rip a Blade Storm here, you see it's stacking up there, taking more and more damage from me. And then we have a Slaying Strike or two on him. So if we execute him, hopefully that would consume the stacks. I think is how that works. And then yeah, and then it, then it's ten percent total damage. And that's a twenty second debuff. So as long as you're Executing off a slaying strike or um, blade storming, like to get a proc or blade storming like normally, they'll just take 10% more damage from you all the time. I don't think the cooldown reduction is working. Let me see. Was it? Maybe. I think it's just spending rage. Yeah. Oh snap! <laughs> I have a chance to call in an earthen dude to aid me. Cool. But I'm too low to use it. Rip. Rip. But yeah, this thing is supposed to be... Right. When you execute a target, you've marked for execution. You both redu reduce the cooldown of Blade Storm and apply two stacks. Right, so I'm not seeing that five second Blade Storm cooldown reduction. Which will be huge when you get it, right? Because you'll be Blade Storming like a madman, like all the time, which would be really fun. Because you can either have strength with Hurricane or just proc more uh, mortal strikes with unhinged which are more single target pump which is really fun I think don't forget the guide talents PvP PvE sure we're, we're just like week one into the alpha so I'm, I'm just yeah I'm just still messing with it but I'm definitely down to be like hey at this point in the alpha this is a build that I think is fun we're kind of doing that in the form of just like sharing gameplay and like showing you the build that we're playing and kind of just thinking around with it but yeah We'll make guides for you too. Let's just rip another blade storm, dude. Let's send it. Get it on cooldown. Oh, yeah, once once Slayer's working properly, I think it'll be even more fun. We just did a run with Colossus, which I think is awesome. Colossus is definitely fitting that like just heavy chonk damage arm style, which is a good good style for arms to have. But Slayer kind of hits hard too, man. I don't think Slayer's going to hit as hard with Overpower, probably. But still kind of pumps. And of course, for the PvP application, that's like Slayer is just going to be really hard to peel, basically. Because you'll have the ability to charge out of roots, which gives you a movement speed buff. And um, you'll be having just Blade Storm all the time, right? So you're going to be, you know, running fast because you're unslowable, unCCable. You have Hurricane proccing if you want to for movement speed. Charging out of roots, which gives you a movement speed buff. So I don't know, it, just, it sounds like a lot of fun. And Colossus is, like, not slow, necessarily. But you're kind of constantly stacking a, str uh, a, a damage buff that buffs your bleeds and overpower. And then dumping it with uh, Demolish. Which is pretty cool. I'm bonking him. Let's stack up our over Overwhelm. So he's taking 10% more damage from us, or 9% for, like, the whole fight now. Until we can execute him. But again, we need to get the the buff going the right way. And uh, we need to make sure... Or sorry, the cooldown reduction needs to go the right way. And then we also need to make sure that the uh, the sudden death proc rate probably needs to go up a little bit is what it feels like to me. 
feels like it's supposed to have increased sudden death, like proc chance or whatever, but I don't, I don't really feel that. Any reason for no stat squish? I guess I just didn't feel like doing it this time. Instead, don't want to do every. They usually do it every other expansion, right? I think that's what it is. I gotta take another look and see what Mortal Strike's actually doing for me as this build. Like if it's getting buffed or anything. I do kind of feel like they uh, made the execute animation faster. I might be making that up. But it's 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 almost like execute was like a two-part animation. But now it, it seems like it hits right off the bat. Which is better. I think I have all this gear. But I don't. I do not. New axe? Sure. Oh, can't use it yet. That's a mace. Alright, alright. Pumped. So, I like Slayer. And I'm excited about it. There's just some things that just don't, don't work right. So, let me... Um, for this. Uh, Blade Storm. CD not showing properly. Can use um and uh from consuming uh doesn't seem to work. I think anger management does work with this one with arms. Just give him some more info. Alright. Again. You guys want to play some Fury? Can. Are you on YouTube more now these days? Uh, we stream on YouTube more because we can, but like I stream... Now I'm streaming on both, right? So if you see me on YouTube, we're also live on Twitch. But, I mean, I didn't really used to stream on YouTube as much because you weren't allowed to do both, but now you are, so. Thumbs up for me. Did I not have Battle Shadow on that whole time? It's freaking me out, man. Alright, well, well... I didn't! Whatever, who cares? Whatever, dude. No Battle Shot, no problem. Just trying to make the, the uh, dungeon not go so fast, you know? I didn't, yeah. But chat, do I read both? I read both YouTube and Twitch. I have I have a thing that combines the chats, so you guys can't see everything. Like, we could probably put it on screen so that like the the chats are combined or whatever. But I don't always really want to have chat on screen like for the stream. Mountain Thane, I'll, I'll do it right now. It's pretty fun. We could do a, a Mountain Thane Fury. So I think Slayer will be cool, but it's just not working right. We're getting there though. Oh, Alpha's fun. Which pl which platform has better earning potential? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, if you have like a, a strong community, I mean, either one could pop off, right? And if there's uh, no reason not to, you should just do both. Why stream with black bars top below? Uh, ultra wide monitor. Usually, when I play WoW, you'll see it looking more like this, except that this is like over cropped. But it'll look more like this usually. But because of the the alpha, I don't have the add-ons because, like, like, you know, you can't see my map, you can't see my character screen very well. So, but I use add-ons that move my menus around, my UI around a bit. But don't have that for this one. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, the glad belt right now, I think, is like a bat. It's 
It's a placeholder though, so maybe that's not actually what it looks like. Or there's, maybe there's just placeholder text and it actually is what it is. So for Cladic, yeah. How does it feel having a ton of HP again? I mean, if you don't if you don't like show your bar, you, you don't even know that you have a ton of HP. If you don't hover over it, it's just a HP bar. But hitting for a million again is kind of funny. And, but that's just at the very beginning of the expansion with bad gear, hitting for a million in a normal dungeon, so it's like, oh boy. Did you miss prop PvP? You did not, no. I'll, I might do some more pro, um, PvE though. I think Tally is doing one more as a tank and then I'll, I'll tank for us for a bit. Do some more PvE as pro. Yeah, if, if you have, you know, YouTube premium so no ads, that's fine. Whatever you prefer. We'll stream on both. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't prefer to have the, the bars on stream. But I strongly do prefer to play on an ultra wide monitor. It's very nice. You asked me that last time. Can you get Gladiator in a month? Uh, sure, but the season only goes until Tuesday, and the first week, of, the first month of the season, is is harder to get Glad because, um, just rating isn't usually as inflated by that point. Can I switch to normal execute visual, or just can someone? Because yeah, if, if just don't play Massacre, and it won't give you that visual. All right, so we'll play Raging Blow, Ravager, Mountain Thane. Which I think is all right. I think it's okay. I, I still like Odin's Fury, but it's hard to do all this stuff, which I think you want with this build, and then still get all this. A little tricky. I kind of just play Mountain Thing without that, I don't know. We could try this. I don't think it's good though. We'll give it a try though. I think this season was harder than usual getting 2.1. Uh, maybe early on, but like usually early in the season is just deflated. It's just. That's how it goes. So if everything in the warrior tree don't get nerfed in PvP now, it'll probably be about the same in terms of what's nerfed, I would imagine. Sure, fellows, I'm just I haven't been logged into uh, Modern WoW recently. This mostly just been playing Alpha, but sure, yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for it. That guild's not very active though, so yeah. The demons are queuing first month. I mean, everybody queues that first month, but yeah, it's just a little bit deflated, right? That's how it goes. The, the rating kind of inflates as the season goes on, but more participation means that things get inflated faster. But could you get glad a month? Sure. Yeah. If you if you farmed it, but you can't. You, the other part of the question you asked me yesterday, I saw uh, later. Um, you can't get the glad mount from solo shuffle. You have to get glad mount from rated threes. So let's try this though. The idea behind this setup is lots of raging below blasting. Lightning strikes. Maybe I should just not even worry about lightning strikes. Let's try this. Just do more damage. We're still playing Ravager, but I think I think you probably should. I I would like to play Odin's Fury though. But I, I really think that. Raging Blow is just better than Bloodthirst for this this build, this class. More Thunder Blasts are fine, but I'm, I just don't think they really do much. I'm just not impressed. Storm Strike damage is just not, I don't know. Yeah, we're getting a stance, thanks. Probably ought to. I don't think this point's that important either, but it's like it, it, it's like free. It's like you have to take it. I don't know. It's 
I think there's like a there's a bug with it. Something going on. Yeah, I I, I don't think this Ravager cooldown reduction is really a thing. It's gonna maybe take the cooldown down by like three seconds or something. I don't know. Maybe five seconds. Maybe it's just not working right too. You could try it though. So arms tree. Um, if you just so you're watching on YouTube, just rewind just a little bit and just go back a bit and uh, we, we played arms that whole dungeon. Maybe we did. We actually did two of them, right? Why not Odin Sphere and Titan Stormant for more avatar procs? It helps hero tree and your DPS. Uh, what do you uh, think that it helped the hero tree for? The avatar thing? Where are you seeing synergy? With uh, avatar. I like Onslaught. But you can't just drop Onslaught and take Odin's Fury, right? You have to get all the way down there. Right? Right, so Avatar gives you Thunder Blast. Which is that, that's it, right? Which is not even that good. So, I, I wasn't really like convinced about that one. Have you tried it? Do you like it? Lightning strikes occur more often during Avatar, which is one thing, yeah. Uh, instead of telling me to look at it, just tell me what it does and that what, what you think is cool about it, maybe. What you thinking? Because I like Odin's Fury a lot. I prefer to, uh, to play with Odin's Fury. Especially in dungeons where it's all this AoE, right? Yeah, tell me what you, uh, what you like about it. I mean, I'm down to try out, like, whatever. I, just, I didn't have a um, an Odin's Fury spec for Thane yet. I, I'd like to play it as Slayer, though. But yeah, it's a little different. Oddly, like, it probably just does more damage to play, than, like, a more normal build, but... Anger management just seems to be pretty good for these two. Both of them, unfortunately. <laughs> But so, if you're like a that you have the short avatar with Odin's Fury, and then that's gonna help you proc more Thunder Strikes. Is that is that what you're thinking? During Avatar, I'm trying to figure out like where the where the value is in that. Pomping. I do love Odin's Fury though. Yeah, Slayer's cool too. Yeah, people didn't. Yeah, people wanted to have a more sort of like old school style talent tree. Yeah, you'd be sad if you couldn't take anger management. Yeah, it's good. I, I feel, this one's good too, though. Reckless abandon is nice, but then I guess if you're playing anger management, it makes sense that you would play. To me, it makes sense that you'd play onslaught, but you don't have to. Anger management. Is not working with Bladestorm, but it is working with uh, this. You just kill him before he even phases. Insane. Pumped him. No happy hour for you. They dead. They need to buff. Uh, what now? What do you mean by inflated rating? Uh, MMR um, increases over time. So later in the season, like the maximum MMR that somebody can have is higher. And MMR is kind of what determines how high your rating can get to some extent. But yes, yeah, so you can get glad in a month, but you you don't have a month to get glad right now. Let's get a battle shot for this dungeon, I guess. And then in the first month of the season, it's harder to get glad. 
because just rating hasn't sort of just MMR hasn't really gotten up there yet. Well, sometimes they don't really nerf MMR that much because they don't bring it down by that much. Whole lot of rage and blow action going on, boys. Like, I like Thunder Blast. I just, I'm just not really convinced that it's that important to try to, like, fish for Bloodthirst procs. You can just press Raging Blow. That's one thing. Is that Fury does kind of feel like a lot of buttons. Like, not only, like, you know, you're pressing a lot of buttons because you're playing Fury, so you're pressing buttons, like, all the time, but... With Ravager and everything else you gotta set up, right? But, but the Ravager playstyle is a playstyle that some people have enjoyed in the past, so... They might be happy to do it again! I liked Odin's Fury Annihilator, though. I thought that was fun. Spear these dudes. But Thane is a lot of... You know, I mean, it's just... Kind of very similar, except... You're Thunderclapping instead of Whirlwinding. For your Meat Cleaver. But the Thunder Blast doesn't feel like it does that much more damage, so I'm not really sure like what the point of it is. You ever just slam? No. Mm -mm. Test the Colossus arms? Yeah. I have a video of it on YouTube and we've been playing... It. We've been kind of rotating through just about everything um, on stream recently. I think Colossus feels really good. The multiple Storm Bolts. We're just dying. What's going on? I'll handle these rascals over here. Get my homies with the Bezooka. I'm helping! Just infinite rampage, what the heck? So who knows, man? Onslaught's just nice to have. To generate more rage, spend more rage. More time on wreck. It's kinda good. Recount? I don't know, not yet, man. Recount, the fun zone would be over with recount, because then you can't play any, like, goofy builds. Just doing, doing DPS, you're just sad, but it, soon, yeah, probably. I probably need to play some other classes first, before I bust out recount on my warrior, but yeah. I think that is one of the add-ons that is working, though, right? Recount is actually working ATM. No more blissful ignorance about your pathetic DPS. We're getting there, though. Yo, when I was tanking, we we were hammering this boss. I'll be playing product for this, though, boys. We'll let Tally DPS a bit. I'll tank for the boys. That, that, that was... Was that an 84k Thunder Blast? No, that wasn't, that's not a small amount of damage. Thunderclap does almost the same, right? Just goes through armor. 153k Thunderclap, what the? That. Power Avatar right there, I guess, huh? What did Rage am I playing? What the heck? They buff Fury? Fury's back? The heck? Let me help, yeah, it's happening. We actually pop off true! True. These things. True. Th then we would want to hide the DPS. Don't tell him. Nobody needs to know. The extent to which we are truly popping off. Uh oh. Blam! 199k. Onslaught to the dome. Stay right there, you little bruise. Not today.
take them out. So predictably, Fury feels, you know, it doesn't have, you know, you're not as heavy chonker hits as arms, which is how it usually is. But it does feel like it just doesn't do as much damage in general. Like, not just because of the chonks. It feels plenty smooth, though. So there's that. Light him up. And I do like the Mountain Thane kind of like Thunderbolts getting casted down and stuff like that. It is cool. I feel like Hero Specs almost like... Maybe it's because you don't, you don't usually get like a... A brand new ability for Warrior, except for uh, Demolish, but it feels like maybe even like less impactful and flavorful than uh, like Shadowlands Covenants. I don't know. Yeah, the no stat squish, it's it's following the pattern, but it is a lot like you have a lot of HP now. This is just the beginning of the expansion, too, right? We'll see how it goes, though, huh? Should be fine. No exploding bruise for me, thanks. I think it's less about, like, the... the damage numbers, or the um, HP numbers that you have, but it's like, when you hit something for, like, 10 million damage, it starts to, like, not make sense. <laughs> you know, it's like... What's going on here? You just turn off all numbers and you just look at HP bars and just do chunks of damage to them. Just look at the chunk. That's funny because anger management is definitely working for Ravager for Thane, but it was not working for Blade. Yeah, for Blade Service. Slayer. So I think Slayer is going to pop off a bit once they fix that stuff. All the various cooldown reductions that they have. It'll be really fun. Look at the 10. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah. Time to pop off. So our 5 is busted or what? What's new? Uh oh. Little rascals out of here. There we go. Yeah, we definitely like <laughs> did not do that mechanic quite right. We we're tanking this place. Oh yeah, stack them up, boys. For my Ravager. Oh, snap. What happened to that dude? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, you probably still want to play, press Bloodthirst, but I'm not. I'm, I'm still not convinced. I'm looking at more like mechanics rather than damage numbers. There's just not a lot of incentive to press Bloodthirst. That's how it is. Thank you today. Probably after this one, yeah. I will. You don't feel like arms has as much sustainability? Uh, I don't know. Have you played Colossus? Colossus has Ignore Pain. I mean, like the arms does in general, but also has like a little second wind proc that it can get. You take 5% less damage all the time, too. Oh, it's kind of... It's kind of buff. It's kind of buff. Think Prot would be in a good place? Probably. Hold on, is, is what buff in the dungeon now? Time to pop off.
spearing him. Hit me with it, see what happens. Plus, you kind of need, uh... You kind of need this. Onslaught to get, um... Slaughtering strike stacks. Let's just never get them going. Okay. There are two of these. Big mastery. It's more of the same loot, I think. Can I wear? Oh. A one-handed axe. SMF? Yeah, not yet. Mm. All right, I can go tank for us. All right, we tested today. More warrior. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I think Prop Heals Colossus haven't played it yet. About to. About to find out. Please tell me we don't have to use Odin's Fear anymore. You don't have to. I I think it's kind of nice, but I think a lot of the Fury builds kind of start leaning into Raging Blow more. Because we don't have, like, you know, Bloodthirst, cooldown reduction stuff. And we don't have Annihilator anymore. So this side of the tree is kind of like, why would I go over here? For, like, bleeds and stuff. Like crit bloodthirst bleed. There's all this juicy stuff over here. I think Odin's Fury is great. It's just like the tree to get there is not that great. Yeah, you could go through this side of things, but if you go through, if you just kind of go through here, then you're missing some of the really good stuff that you actually can get if you were going to go over there, which is like Cold Steel Hot Blood, Bloodborne, right? So you have to kind of drop a lot of important stuff over here. Maybe no, maybe no massacre, maybe no onslaught, and that can get you to here. Then you, then what? Start having to chip away at your raging blow damage, which is kind of rough because I don't know. I mean, maybe raging blow is not that important. You know, maybe you just need to use it to generate rage to get you down to uh, to rampage more, right? But you still want slaughtering strikes, right? Because if your Rampage is going to be your main source of damage, you want Slaughtering Strikes. And then if you want Slaughtering Strikes, you're pressing Raging Blow. And then if you're pressing Raging Blow, why would you want to not do damage with it? And then it's like, what? So, I don't know. A little tricky. A little tricky to be sure. Let me get out of here. Oh, it's right up front. A little tricky to be sure. They removed Annihilator. Yep. You don't have to play Spear either, but I think Spear plus Ravager is kind of cool. I don't, I don't think that Arms or Fury seems rough or bad, necessarily. But the talent stuff is a little tricky, for sure. If that's what you mean. It's a little tricky. Because things don't just kind of go nicely now. I feel like it was okay, but it was, it was pretty alright in Dragonflight. Things kind of flowed nicely. But your talent trees are not, they're not, I don't know, not real flowy, if that's what you mean, and then I agree. But the, the gameplay feels fine, but the way that you talent feels kind of weird. Alrighty, but if you're going to go Odin's Fury, then yeah, go Dragon Roar, for sure. Someone told me that he got the week one, <laughs> got him out in a week one season. Is that possible? You, so, what are you actually asking me, Wakar? Because you keep asking me the same question over and over. Are you? What are you? What are you curious about? Can you get glad? Absolutely, man. Get on the grind and do it. Do it to it. If you have teammates, if you know how to play the game, if you're like a high-rated player, you can probably get glad in a week if you played enough games for sure. Definitely. But you kind of keep asking me a, a similar kind of question. So what what are you curious about? Back to prot, baby. Let's play Colossus this time. 
Fountain Thane was alright. A lot of thunder clapping going on. I'm curious that how fast can you get it if you were as good as me? It's mostly about teammates. I mean, as fast as you can win 50 games above 2400, man. You know? Can you do it in a week? Probably, yeah. If you, if you play a lot. Play enough games, get it done. Probably so, man. Let's see here. I kind of do like this, though. I don't really need to see all that. Anyway, um... Oh, cost? Oh, I see. Oh, it's cost rage. Are we looking good? Are we looking alright for tank runies? So? Let me make a little group ski for us. The homies in, get Tally in here. Some tanking for the boy. Tau Diesel. I mean, I guess if I use this, we can put it there, but I'm not using it, so. Anything else we need? Is there anything else that I'm doing differently? Like, I'm, not, I'm maybe not relying as. Th We're not relying on Thunderclap, but. It's not getting buffed as much. I don't know, it's fine, I think. Just send it. Let's just send it. Uh, what's going on, Lance? What's happening? Which hero class? I've been playing all of them. Been giving them all. The Dragon Roar bleed buff only works when you use Dragon Roar. That's how it works now. It it, it always buffs bleeds in Dragon Flight, but. On this, yeah, it's it's only buffing it during that window. But yeah, Annihilator's gone. Alpha is nice. Yep, makes me kind of sad though. I like I like the Annihilator. I like the Annihilator plus uh, um, like a bunch of bloodthirst spamming. This you want to see Klaus's prot? Yep, I'm I'm bringing it to you. I haven't played it yet though. How's Alpha looking so far? It's fun. It's fine. Does it, 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 does it worth staying on the Copium train for the expansion? <laughs> yeah, I think you, you can definitely continue to enjoy the game. Yeah, that's fine. I think. Yep. I think I think Arms feels better than Fury to me right now. But they do need to fix Slayer Arms. That'll be really fun. Most deaf. Most deaf. Ravager and Shield Charge, pretty dope. For Prot? Yeah, I'm not playing Shield Charge right now. Got options, though. Don't you find it a bit annoying that you have leftover points for Hero Talents? That's just an alpha thing. It's not what it's going to be like later. Kind of kills the bleed build, though. Not really. You just have more pressure during your cooldowns. In, in that one way. But remember, Colossus is going to buff your bleeds by 20% all the time. Basically. And Slayer is going to be buffing all of your damage by 10% all the time. So keep that in mind before before you get too sad about it. Right. Uh, I haven't played Miss Weaver, but I definitely have played with them. Fist Weaving, I, I'm not really paying much attention to, like, like our healer, like, how they're doing. Because we're just doing dungeons. Yeah. Does Fury Warrior still require a lot to keep with the rotation? I mean, it's, it's definitely a lot of buttons still. Yeah. All right, bro. Good luck on Glad. Get after it, bro. Let's see, is he on an ally character? Okay. We'll see if we can get some peeps in here. We'll get Tally in there. Then send it. I love they acknowledge the low button fantasy of Annihilator by adding more buttons and deleting Annihilator. I don't know. I like that side of the tree. I thought, I thought it was kind of fun to have Fury have some, like, bleeds and even builds so you can make Hexy hit really hard, that kind of stuff. Do you think classes are more fun in retail than in classic? Yes. Okay. 
What's he playing next? Let's see something. Alright, I'll just I'll just hop in the LFG then. In the group finder as a tank. You guys wanna see some Colossus prot? A colossal noob playing Colossus prot. Send it. I probably should maybe bind taunt as a tank, you guys think? That'd be a good button to have. <laughs> Do I have intervene always as tank? No, I just talented for it. Oh, a oh, whale. <laughs> whale bin. Maybe I put that on the old bar then after all. <laughs> Did I not use the tank? Hey, you're right. Use both. See if I get a little DPS cube. Class tree looks a lot healthier. For warrior, I think it I, I think it is actually worse. It is actually worse for warrior. For DPS warrior, maybe at least. I, I have no idea what it used to be <laughs> as as a tank, and I still don't know what's going on. Which is best for human and gnome? I think gnome is better, but I, I don't like to play gnome. I don't like the the um aesthetic, the motif. It's like this small little angry baby. I don't like that so much. Human warrior is, I suppose, a little bit bland, but I don't know. That's the brand. Any changes in PvP talents? I don't think so. Not yet. Fury warrior seems better. Does it? Interesting. Uh, what's up, dude? I uh, hope you're doing well. I was wondering for season four, is it warrior arms or furry you recommend to go 2,000 rating? Uh, whatever you prefer. I think arms is usually better for PvP. Have I tried the prot? Uh, we did one dungeon as prot. I'm about to do another one, maybe. We get some more deeps. Why is it not... Why is it not believing that I'm a tank? My cutest tank, right? Oh, can I... Can I, I could be a dungeon guide, too. I'm paired up with a healer right now, so I don't want to leave. Yeah. I mean, like, Nova is definitely good in Modern WoW. Like, to get out of Roots and stuff is very good. But... This is what it is. Yeah, you got tiny little weapons, too. Yeah. Can't do that one. <laughs> human IRL, human in-game, Giga Chad. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, no more is good. It's just, I don't know. It's not my style. It is what it is. The motif, indeed. Just one of them little failures. Yeah. <laughs> You're uh, between maining a prop paladin and a prop warrior, yeah? Like them tank classes, huh? I probably will end up trying them. Um, I mean, if if we want to take a break from dungeons, I could start putting together a death knight. I thought I would try to do a singular colossus uh, prop dungeon, but I mean, if, if it doesn't pop here pretty soon, we'll do something else. These guys up too. We'll see. Here's Bean. What's up, big girl? Big buff burly beans. That's Miss Bean. Life Knight? Well, we'll make a paladin soon too. That's kind of a life knight, isn't it, Pally? That is exactly the, the class fantasy, is just some dude, no magic, you know? So this is what it is. Your DK main? I got you, bro. Is it time? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. That was some good dungeon blasting. You guys excited about DK? We can do that. We could run it. Sure. If we don't get a pop in the next 20 seconds, then yeah, we'll do it. That's right. Just muscle and metal. No magic. Ain't that right, Miss Baines? Yep. Welcome back, Rito. Welcome back. We've been here doing our thing. Ooh, I don't know if I should have logged out as prop, though. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Alright. 
Here, I'll, I'll pause this so we can listen to the tunes. All right, another human male. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, before we do that, though, I'll be right back. Let's go get some more water, Miss Beans. Let's go hydrate. I'll, I'll go ahead and knock out the ads so that you guys don't get any ads while uh, we're gaming. But take two seconds and uh, go show the YouTube stream some love. Pump it up. And if you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure you give the stream a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Brb. Hey yeah. Try death knight. What do you guys want to do first? Unholy. Frost. Alrighty, I think <clears throat> I think it's I think it's Riders of the Apocalypse Unholy. What are you guys all saying? Frost. He will more than likely play Frost. You think? Dude, I'm I'm kind of when I play DK, I usually play Unholy. We could start with Frost if you guys want to, though. It doesn't matter. Frost can do Riders of the Apocalypse as well, right? <laughs> Dude, it's. It is so funny, like, you know, some classes proc damage, some classes proc healing, some classes proc shields, death knights proc death knights. It's like, what the heck? You just procced another death knight? Like, what is that? What is going on? What the heck, man? How does this even work? <laughs> Dude, I just, just procced another DK. Nice. Yeah, just spawn in more dudes. That's what Death Knight needed. More pets. That's what they needed. More pets. 
What do you guys think? There we go, looking good. Let's, let's clean that up a little bit. Spawn in the boys. Yeah, dude, they do. They, they roll deep. They do. Ride, riders of the Apocalypse rolling deep. They, they got the squad. At all times. Okay, so... Remember, you guys asked for this. We're making a new class, which means that we're going to be setting this thing up for like an hour. You asked for this. Remember that. Alrighty. But the good news is, um, we will at least... We will at least have this guy sort of ready for when we play next time. Be the plan. Yeah, part time fan over here, right? No, I, I, uh, I, I guess we're starting as Frost, which is fine. Um, haven't played Frost in a bit. Let's see how it goes, though, huh? Let's give her a go. Get all this stuff swapped around. Has been a little while. Alright. I guess not having to deal with pet management like right off the bat is probably for the best. Frost, it, it, it's <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, it's kind of funny when you look at my DK bars. I mean, this is not a good example yet, but uh, there ain't much on there. This is nice, though. I actually like this all in one place because you can kind of just like, if any, just make sure nothing's like glowing that you want on your bar. What do you guys think about this? This this new uh, this new setup here. I think it's actually all right. Or actually, thanks for the prime, dude. Big flex for you. Thanks for pumping us up, man. Thank you, dude. Frost will be OP. I have no idea. No idea. Let's see. Been falling for nine seconds? Nice. Welcome. Welcome. I can actually look. Yeah, it looks good. I like it. Uh, flipping through the pages. I mean, you can even see, like, your passives and stuff. That's cool. That's cool. All right, we got to make a one big macro for all of our stuff here. The Frost DK way. Death Coil? You don't... You don't use Death Coil as Frost, right? Not really. Oops. Not really. You can heal your pet, or heal yourself with Lich... Lichborn? Why Warrior haven't... Hold on. You don't think Warrior has, like, cool hero talents, I was saying? Right, but you would you would just make a macro for Lichborn, not just death coils yourself, right? That wouldn't even be like a separate button. Make a little macaroni for that one. Okay. Uh mm, talents. Let's see what the heck's going on here. What we want is just like a super basic one. Where everything is just a passive. That would be ideal. Ugh, a 90% slow on Death and Decay? Sure. I don't think I would usually take that, but what, what we're about to do is a bunch of dungeons. So. Yeah, just put it all in one button, yeah. Just every, well, what you can do, especially because you have the new thing, right? Is you go to make yourself a nice little macro. Open up that old spell book real quick. Take a little, take a little gander at them talents. Start clicking them bad boys in. Get you one of these. Once we get a bomb, then we'll do that. Get you one of these. Just start shift clicking them in there. Put everything on there. Call it good. Start pumping it up. But yeah, we need a bomb limb on there too. 
<laughs> Shrimp Smacker. Thanks for the Prime Ed. Big flex for you as well. Thank you, dude. Haven't played WoW since BFA. Is it worth getting back into? Yeah, I mean, the game's still really good. It's just if you want to play. Yeah. That's all you got to do. Fire it up. Listen, I'm a I'm a I'm a 2400 XP Death Knight, okay? Azuroth is nuts. Uh, I haven't played Frost in a bit. You know, Bajiroth actually is leveled up on Dragonflight too. I think he's he's still in kind of like not awesome gear from season one, but I mean he's 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 there. He's up there. I'm not gonna press chains of ice and dungeons, I don't think. Whatever whatever this is. We need that. I don't think we're gonna spend a lot of time on that side of the tree. Do we want utility? Oh wow, we're already out of stuff. Okay. Huh. Uh huh. No, I mean we could. Could take a sacrificial pact. What what's the difference? Oh, one of them kills my pet. See, that's gonna require like a pet summon macro, but I guess you do kind of want brittle, don't you? Dude, no AMZ like. Huh? I mean, whatever. I mean, who needs AMZ? We're doing dungeons. Doesn't matter. Breath of Cindragosa is a pretty important uh, Frost DK thing, isn't it? Can we make it all the way down to this, though? I want Obliteration. That sounds super fun. I used to, that, that's another thing to put in that macro, Mr. Adams. Thanks for the Prime Man. Big flex for you as well. Thank you, dude. Fury is looking all right. It's looking all right. It, you can't really do, um, you can't really do Annihilator stuff anymore, though. Which makes Bloodthirst not as good. Like, that side of the tree's not as good. Jagged Icicles, I don't care about that. We want Obliteration. If you're playing Breath Build, a Blit is more fun and probably better. I don't think I'm playing the Breath Build. I don't think I am. Oh, wait, I am. <laughs> no, I am. Yo, okay, yeah, that's all, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to play Frost. I'm going to put every button in one macro, and we're just going to send it. That'll be awesome. We'll just We'll just start. We'll start there. They, like track all these cooldowns I have now. What the heck is going on? So look at this. All right, let's make our let's let's extend our macro. <laughs> what's what's on global and what's not? Hopefully nothing is on global, so we can just put literally everything in this. Remorseless winter might be on. Global. Is Breath of Cindergosa is starting that on global? Oh, it's a passive. You used to have to activate this. I didn't even read that. It's just Pillar of Frost. Okay, that that's just a macro. I, you would have put that in the macro. Okay, great. Delete three points from Breath and above and put them in the Drake. Which one? What if I want to play the Breath build? This little guy? Put this little filler? Nah. Nah. Three minute cooldown in a dungeon sounds whack. Nah. Remember, what we're doing right now is normal dungeons. We're not doing, um, not doing threes, right? You think of the Titanic Rage, Odin's Fury for Fury Warrior might perform better on higher keys. Uh, so I like Odin's Fury. The issue is you're, you're, you're not really investing a lot of your stuff in that side of the tree. It's reduced in the next one? Oh, okay. Oh, 50% reduced. Cool, that's fun. Okay. Can I try breath anyway? Oh, it deals reduced damage to secondary targets. Oh, I see. Well, that's not as much fun, is it? 
1.5 minute cooldown. That, that sounds more fun. I want to take points out of this stuff too. Okay. That sounds fine. I like that one. Wait, what? I have this ability, but it's also on the tree. What's happening here? Oh, if you already know it, then you gain other ones. Is that, is that like a frost specific thing? Gives me two of them, huh? Kind of fun. Just, just more, more cooldowns. It's kind of could be kind of cool instead of this. I like this down a lot though, so I'm just gonna do that. I think. But is this one point, one point? Instead of rhyme or whatever. Whatever. Just put something together. Have some fun with it. You know. I was like, I'm just gonna take a bunch of passives, and now I have just given myself just. A bunch more abilities to press. Whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So now we, we have... Oh. What else? <laughs> Dude, look at my bars. That looks so... Barren. Uh, I have just the thing for you. Let me see them hero talents. Take a little gander. This will be fine, right, guys? Just to get us started. Surely. So I have to summon my pet and then destroy him. That's the res. That's the battle res. Where's this little fella? Okay. Gotta make a macro for that, too, probably. All right. Hero Towns. Here we go. Turn my music back on, though. Yeah, I'm just going to just mess around, and then we'll... We can dink around different talents. But just for those of you guys who play DK, you're probably just like, oh, gosh. Look at these talents. So Deathbringer... I'm not going to start there. We're going to start here. The Riders of the Apocalypse. Actually, it sounds weird with the music now, too. Yeah, it has Mount of Combat out, out in the world, right? New talents out? Yeah, this is Alpha, so we're, you're, you're kind of testing stuff out. Right, so when outdoors, you're able to... Yeah, we should just do that for a while. That sounds funny. Just speed around, beat stuff up. All right, here's where you summon all the boys. Okay. Just cast an AMS randomly. I mean, this might be better, but this looks funny. This, I just want to see them just like spawning in, casting AMS. Just goofing around. Silas, so, thanks for 55 months, man. Yeah, hopefully you get in, dude. Hopefully so. Better let people figure it out. Let's ask. Yeah, fair enough. It's a board lord. Thanks, man. Does Unholy... Yeah, Unholy and Frost have access to Riders of the Apocalypse. So, yeah. You can both ride around. I mean... <laughs> this DK is just ganking people on mounts in world PvP. Just riding them down. Swooping in. That's so funny. Okay, just us, huh? You don't really have a choice. Just pick all these. Just, they might want to read what they do, though. When obliterate damage the enemy affected by undeath, it gains a stack and inflicts on nearby enemies. And then where does undeath come from? Undeath is from white mane. Okay. The rest of these just buff what the dudes do. Here's where it all begins. Spending runes is a chance to call forth the aid of the horsemen. All right, we've I think we've gone over these, right? Didn't we do a video about DK stuff? I thought we took a look at these guys. Pretty funny. DK has been broken since their alphas and they're like back. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. 
I don't know if you guys had seen him yet. But basically, with this thing, you summon up oh, like old DKs that give you various buffs, or they do diff like you know, they chains them, cast dots on them, cast D and D, which follows him. It's pretty funny. Just buff up the diseases, sure. Oh dang. So you can either call the horseman more frequently, or um, buff up your damage while they're out. I think it. I think it's gonna be more funny to try to see them help us fight more, even if it's not as good. So do that one. Oh, nice. Yeah, we are supposed to be using Horn of Winter. Sounds good. Army of the Dead and Frostworm's Fury call upon all four horsemen to aid you. Yeah, so we definitely do want to play Frostworm's Fury, just because that'll be more fun. That'll be more fun. All right, there's that. So I have literally no clue what I'm doing, but I think we should still just queue for a dungeon just to see what happens. Right? Naturally. We'll just see if we can get into one, and if and while we're chilling, uh, we'll just kill stuff out in the world. Uh, is there anything else that we need to put on my bar? There's all these things that I haven't read. I think what I want to do right now is just go attack stuff. And then see how that feels. Just go gank some mobs. And carry on from there, I think, would be a good plan. Sound good? Yeah, hopefully I just don't die. We don't want that. The But we if we need to do the Lichborn thing, then we could. And probably not a bear. Probably not a bear. Thanks to the Prime Man. Big flex for you. Appreciate it, man. Ooh, I almost punched this thing. Um, it's getting too swole. You guys know how it is. Are BGs up? Yeah, they probably are, but I don't know if anybody's doing them. I could queue for one, though find out let's let's go uh well let's get ourselves some enchants first wait a minute i don't think these are just embrace the shadow do we have a dk enchant should we go get one let's just get some haste or something what do frost dk's like mastery i think i think dk specs just like mastery right I think Frost does kind of like crit though, right? 18 of the bad boys. I kind of want to experiment with these cursed ones where it pulls a thousand stat to give you like 1300 stat. Frost is crit haste, unholy is haste mastery. Oh. Okay, let's just get haste then. If they both like haste, okay, then we'll just get them some haste. I think DK weapon enchants are better than what you can get from these things, right? Oh, you know what? I wonder if I haven't uh, increased mounted movement speed by 10%. Oh, baby. But do you think that increases our like mounted combat? Cool. So you can take Stam or... Just movement speed all the time. I wonder. Let's see. Strength. Oh. I don't think I re-enchanted my other my warrior's gear though. Alright, so where the embracers at? We might want to opt to do that. Maybe, maybe Leech is actually better. Whatever. Alright. That'll get us started. Surviving means being resourceful. Thanks, dude. I think it mostly means not dying, actually. Okay. Should we experiment with that? See if it actually wait. How do I mount? Like, do I it, do I literally just like mount up and I just like can attack stuff? And can you ride anything? Do you have to ride like a like a death knight thing, like a death knight mount? 
What if I just run right around on Death Wing? How about that? Has to be Acarus Death Charger? Okay. That makes more sense. But you know, you never you never really do, though. So. How about Acarus Death Wing? This one right here? There we go, can I attack? <laughs> Insane. <laughs> Insane. Right, did I already? No. On the weekends, uh, we're trying to get up and get some good gaming in first. And Deezer, thanks, man. Big flex for you. And Dottis as well. Thanks for the 45 months and the 5 months, guys. Appreciate it. No. Uh, on the weekends, I wake up um, and stream first thing so we can get some streaming in. And then uh, if we get to work out, it's in the afternoon. And sometimes I'll be on stream, sometimes not. So that's okay. It is important to make sure we, we get a little bit of gaming in. That's the plan. They changed the model? It looks kind of cool, yeah. Looks like something from the Maw. Like, like you get from Torghast, all those little spikes and stuff. Pretty cool. Alright. Let's go, dude. Send me Whoa, I didn't see this. Oh, this is, uh... I see. These are guys teaching you professions. Okay. What is this thing? Is, has this been like a model that's been used for anything? Skeletal Tauren? That's kind of a cool looking thing. For something special? I don't think I've seen that yet. You have this mount? I mean, <laughs> it's just, I think a lot of DKs probably have that mount. Oh yeah, customize your steam. Get these rocks off of me. This Proudmoor's here. This place doesn't have any tunes, so we're gonna get our own tunes going. Most of the models you didn't notice, Blizz has stolen from private servers. Can you explain to me how that works? How Blizzard can steal anything from, uh, from, from a server that's stealing with they made? How does that work? Just new unique models from them. Uh, yeah! The Mounticon does look pretty cool. Maybe a little goofy, but not that much. Let's go Frost DK! Hey, yeah! I got the boys! <laughs> Dude, look at this, this is ridiculous. This is so silly. Look at the being the boys. It's out out for a romp. Pow. Slamming. Yeah, I can't actually tell if my movement speed is if I'm getting an extra 10%. So does speed the stat like affect your movement speed on a mount now too that's what I'm wondering right we have we have the mounted movement speed enchant which is one thing it's blasting everything what the heck is going on I got procs all over the place Lordy the boys just do what they want do what they want to do uh, yeah With the Frostworm's Fury, then I have this like Omega macro. I want to change my uh, my plates though. Them big buff name plates. All right, Jaina. What would you ask the daughter of the sea? I For some XP, please. It's this big boy. Malfunctioning Spire. I'm gonna go handle this guy. We're gonna go give him the full the full wrath of the wastes. Get the boys out on them. Get you some of this, big fella. My 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 A bomb limb didn't go off. Or whatever. They didn't put it in the macro. That's probably why. I summoned the boys. The frosty K is busted. What is this? Frosty K is busted. I popped all my cooldowns and killed that thing. Op. 
Yeah, what are you gonna do <laughs> about DKs in world PvP, man? These guys are just gonna be schmoving. Just running around bonking stuff, I'm never gonna be able to catch them. Why did my nameplate settings revert, bro? Don't like that. DK, uh, especially Frost DK really kind of reminds me of Fury Warrior. It's just like one of those kind of just press whatever lights up, you're probably gonna be okay kind of specs. I don't know if I'd be all right at it in PvP. I, I I did play Frost a little while ago in PvP. I think it was back in like it must have been like Wad or something. It's pretty fun. Slaying everything, man. What's the correct amount of protein intake per day? Um. So I think one good way to do it is eat one gram of protein per centimeter of height. But also, remember to watch that exclamation mark nutrition video. Also good to remember. Always a good place to go back and review if you needed to. So what cleaves in Death and Decay for Frost? Get the boys out on them. Is it Obliterate or Frost Strike that cleaves? Uh, hopefully it's something. Surely it's something. Getting kind of hard, man. This is so ridiculous. Wait, are they are they riding the Crimson Chargers? Am I am I kind of not not with the program here with the team jerseys, team mounts? Obliterate cleaves, cool. I need to get with the program here. I guess I'll do this. I've already done it, but then I will be not sure where to go or what to do if we uh, don't get a quest from Thrall, I guess. I like Scourge Strike? Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, yeah, but remember, I, I'm a warrior main. I'm playing DK right now, but I'm a warrior main, and, and I actually cannot read. So I need to be uh, need to be informed about these kind of things. Just got to figure it out as we go. Yeah! Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to get into a dungeon on DK right now, because we kind of got to peace out here pretty soon. The The Saturday and Sunday morning streams will usually be like, you know, until 9 a.m. PST. And we'll go hang out with the boy. But I am glad that we get to get up and get some gaming in. Hopefully you guys are digging the uh, alpha coverage. We've done a lot of warrior stuff, and I'm down to do more warrior stuff. So you guys know I like playing warrior, but um, I am interested in checking out other classes too. First look at Frosty, he just running around the shore, just slamming everything. Feels pretty all right. Yeah, DKs could just fight on their mount now. So I think what's happening is that Remorseless Winter is taking the global. I'd rather just have a bomb limb. Just one button pops every cooldown. I can press for more winner on my own. You're coming with me. Just unnecessary amounts of cooldowns. Unnecessary amounts of force. Look at that haste. Popping off. So do we have two charges of the thing now? I don't know if we went for that talent or not. I forget. I think we did. The Horn of Winter. Everything's just getting owned. My goodness. Yeah, I haven't played Frosty Cane a bit. It does kind of seem to pump, though. Kind of does. And the mountain combat does look fun, or does look cool, and it is fun. Get the boys out on this dude. Wish they would try to come get me. Oh, what the heck? He's already dead. What even happened to that guy? 
What is even going on? Remember, our uh, our damage is nerfed by 20%, too. So, because of the, uh, the hero talents. It doesn't stay like that forever, but um, I think while you're kind of a lobby, you get you get a little bit uh, balanced out. What if I get to kill this guy? This guy's got like a billion HP. It's a quest mob. This guy, this guy seems like he could probably endure a chunk or two. Can I endure a chunk or two? Am I am I a little weak sauce for this guy? Put on to be back up in a bit. I don't know if the boys don't add like a ton of durability, but they give you the AMS. There's that. I know I have a pillar, but I'm gonna wait a second. Oh we don't have we don't have the full might of the boys because we don't have a, a little dragon attack. This guy's kind of getting handled though, man. Got some stank on him, got undeath on him, got Everfrost on him. He ran away, All right, whatever. A little nub. Is he back? Nope. Hiya! Yeah, this would be fun in dungeons. This would be great. It is so funny, <laughs> just how. Oh gosh. Look at all these guys. And then what is it? Spending runic power or runes or whatever um, kind of extends the duration, essentially. It's already time to pop off again. Look at this. Try me. Wait, that, that might have been my guy saying that. No, I don't think so. I think it's one of these spideys. Enrique, good to see you, man. Big flex for that nine months, dude. Thank you, man. <clears throat> so DKs can. DKs can can do mounted combat with uh, the um, Riders of the Apocalypse talent thing. You can either um, get like a more powerful Death's Advance, basically, where for 10 seconds while upon Death Charger, your movement speed is increased by 100%. You cannot be slowed, and you're immune to, to forced movement effects and knockbacks. So you can't be, like, gripped or, or, you know, typhooned or slowed for 10 seconds and instead of Death's Advance, right? And Death's Advance is a 45-second cooldown. So you get a 10-second, like, immovable, like, you know, like, Giga Freedom. Or you can fight on a mount in the open world. So no, this doesn't, this, you can't do this in a dungeon. Unless the dungeon is outside. But no, I don't think so. Um, so usually what you'll play for like any kind of like actual content is uh, the super freedom, which is still really, really good. But yeah, like while you're leveling Any news? or world questing or whatever, you can ride around on your mount and fight on your mount, which is very cool, yeah. Hey, punch me! Thanks for the prime, man. Big flex for you. Appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, Fury's been good. Yeah. There are a couple things that need to be fixed, I think. Specifically with Slayer. Slayer Arms needs some fixes, and Slayer Fury needs some fixes. But overall, I mean, it still feels good, yeah. Well, and Mountain Thane is cool, too. Together, I don't love we... all the things they did with the, uh, the talent tree changes. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of that. But overall, yeah, it feels good. It feels good. Yeah, exactly, DK. This figure running at you, fighting you on their mount. So it's like, what the heck's going on here? Pretty funny, though. All right. We're going to blast this guy a couple more times. Make sure we get this thing down, too, for whatever reason. And then we got to wrap it up. Got to wrap it up. Got to go hang out with my boy. Give, uh... Give Jenny a chance to get some stuff done for the day. You guys know she's writing her third book? And the second book is, like, coming soon. She's getting the audio, like, uh, files for the, uh, the audio book. She's getting all that all squared away because she just got them back from the voice actors who did the narration and stuff. So, very, very cool. If you guys want to check out Jenny's book, exclamation mark S-O-W in the chat. Show it some love, pump it up. There is audiobook, there's electronic copies as well. 
get all the all the juice. So show her some love. But all right, let's wrap it up for now. We'll uh, just kind of chill on the shore, and we'll pick up our DK adventures next time, which will be tomorrow after the gym. I, I do think that the morning streams are cool, and we might even continue doing morning streams just in general. I just haven't really sort of fully thought out how I want to work that into my schedule, if we wanted to do that, but morning streams are good on the weekends, so shout out to Jenny for letting me hop on and get a little bit of gaming in so we can keep things going strong in the games and gains, all right? But we got a DK set up at least. We'll set up an unholy uh, thing for him too, but right now Frost is feeling pretty banging. Well, pretty good, especially with the Riders of the Apocalypse. That's pretty fun. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the love. Uh, take two seconds and go show the YouTube stream some love if you're watching on YouTube or Twitch. I'll drop the link in the Twitch chat. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you give the stream a big thumbs up. Stay tuned for some more uh, more Within Alpha content from me uploaded today. And then we'll get uh, some more reacts going this week too. That'll be fun. But either way, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the subs. See you tomorrow for more games and gains. Peace.